Hi guys, thanks for tuning in Channel Day. Midweek, so I thought I might go out and do a bit of a clip and let you know what's happening. And uh, we might go in the classic 350 Reborn because I can just check how the saddlebags are. I fitted, gone back a week or so ago it was. I haven't been on the bike since that's been done, so that could be something interesting. And, um, oh yeah, there'll be a clip coming out later on um, how I managed to drop the Suzuki too. So uh, that'll be interesting, you know, the old story. Take it out, try it on the dirt and bang. Party over. Okay guys, I just thought we'd pull over, have a bit of a talk here, and here we are on the Classic 350 Reborn. So um, I had a few plans for this Classic 350. I had this idea I was going to ride at 10,000 kilometres, and then think about getting one of those 150s. Well, at this stage I'm still 2,000 kilometres off that target, so I might have to forget that idea. So, uh, I don't know. I've been thinking things over, and, uh, you know, like I cut a long story short, Last night I decided uh, just to go on the um, Royal Enfield, Enfield uh, official site, order a Hunter 350 because I think it's easier for me just to go and buy the bike compared to bloody have to drive this bike here another 2,000 kilometres before I make up my mind that I'm going to buy the Hunter. I know I'm going to buy one anyway, so it'll probably take me two months or something to put 2,000 k's on this or might even take longer. And I'm not waiting that long, so I just decided I'd get back into it and last night order it because I am keen to try the Hunter and I'm not going to wait two months if I can get out of it and I'm not going to ride this just to hit target. So apart from that, everything's good. Now here's something I did notice riding this Classic 350 and the reason for this is to see how the saddlebags go on it and when I was out here riding it I could really tell the um, how saddlebags sort of slightly upset the weight of a good balanced bike when you're going along compared to when you put them on the back and you can actually feel them even in empty state although I am carrying a little bit of stuff in this right handbag but you can really see that it offsets the bike in balance a bit so anyway that's just something I've noticed a couple of times when I put saddlebags on the bike they're not as well balanced as what they are in naked form so I might just get around this way see if I can get a look I stop here quite regularly. This is that roller line across the and I usually park on the other side, but it's in full shade and the sun's really nice today because it's been really cold around this area. So the, the other thing I was going to say, you know, I've always mentioned to you a few times how well the Classic 350 is and has low vibration in the bars and in the pegs compared to a Classic 500. Now, lately I've been out on that new uh, Suzuki V-Strong 250SX and believe it or not, I did say there was a little bit of vibe in that Suzuki in the bath, but honestly, that Suzuki is a smoother bike to ride than this Enfield, and this Enfield's pretty good, considering, but the Suzuki will definitely beat it in lower vibes. I was really surprised. I thought the um, Suzuki would be a, a lot worse in that mine, because I always thought after going for the 500 singles to a 350, that the 350 was a fairly smooth bike. but. That V-Strom beats this one, it's just hard to believe. Now, you might say, oh, that's a big call there. No, that's just how I see it. And it does, um, you know, like beat it in that one. It beat it in performance too, like easily. I reckon it'd knock over a 500 in a classic. But um, apart from that, it doesn't look as good as one knee. So, you know, apart from that, doesn't matter to me. You know, I just get out and ride them. But 
th these are still my favourite bikes and hopefully when I get this Hunter 350 the rave where they say about how it how it's a lot better bike, a little bit lighter, better handler, better tune on it. We'll soon find out and who knows, I might have that Hunter boy next week sometime, I might go down. I've already checked the van, there's petrol in there, it's been sitting in it for a few months so I might as well use it and um, load it up and head down, save myself four, five, 400, of, well, it used to be 400 to freight it, but four, probably be 500 now because everyone wants more money. So apart from that, like I said, first time out on this one for, I don't know, a fair while, a week or more, because I've been playing around with that Suzuki and then got tied up with painting that X-Max, so, you know, I was sort of tied up, I was sort of busy, but as it is now, things look good, it was good to get on this one, and once again, this uh, 350 Classic Reborn to my favourite ride, you know, regardless of how good the um, Hunter goes, it won't be my favourite bike, because it just doesn't look as good as one of these, so... Uh, you know, it looks a little bit too more modern for me, but I'm really buying it to see what the tune's like and just see what it's like to ride, you know, so. But I think as far as things go, every time I come out, this is the bike that puts a bit of a smile on your face. The other bikes sitting there, they're just filling. So um, as far as things go, when I get on this, this is the bike I think is a 50 year back in, trip back in time, and the others are just a source of a ride. But out here now, the saddlebags look, you know, fairly well, match they're not perfect color but the fact is they look all right on the bike and they never cost much and i'm fairly happy with them there and uh like i said earlier back at the house on that clip i did take the uh, v strom out onto a dirt road and uh only lasted about 100 meters on it and dropped it again in exactly the same price oh have that over again and i dropped it in the exact same place i dropped this one right in that same puddle and i thought i'd get through on the v strom but not the case. Uh, that puddle didn't like its tyres, it didn't like these ones, doesn't like anyone going down along that road, so the best idea is to stay away from that area. So apart from that, that's the progress of what's happening at the moment. Like I said, not a bad day today, no wind, no nothing, bikes running well, good day to be out for a ride, and um, I think just before I left, the dealer rang and wanted to speak to me down there about the bike, and they probably want to take the balance of payment because I put $500 last night as a secure on one and you know I'll see what they got to say so apart from that that's the news at the moment won't be riding this 2000 to get the hunter I'll try it for next week and then worry about putting the other couple of thousand kilometers on this one at a later date so once then thanks for tuning in that's my midweek clip and we'll catch up with you probably later on after that, maybe Friday or something, when I edit the other one where the uh, Suzuki went down to the count. And I'll tell you a pretty good story with that. And I've also been testing the um, wind deflectors on the Suzuki too, which is a really positive run. So apart from that, catch you later.